It's that time of year again. All 30 NBA teams have released their 2021-2022 NBA City Edition uniforms. This year's uniforms are the Moments Mixtape series, where teams implement past uniform relics into their current uniform design. So let's rank all 30 of these new uniforms. Coming in at last place is the Miami Heat. This jersey is god awful. They implemented way too many eras into this jersey, and it just looks like a scrapbook design. It's terrible, so that's why it's last place. At 29th is the Oklahoma City Thunder. The lack of color on this makes it really boring, and it really reminds you of the 2019 MLB Players Weekend uniforms that everyone hated. It's just very boring, and there's nothing about it very special. At 28th is the New Orleans Pelicans. This jersey just looks like everything else they've ever worn, and I get that they're a newer team, so it's harder to do a throwback, but god, this is just a boring jersey. 27th is the Milwaukee Bucks. I find the side panel on the jersey to be very ugly, and there's really just nothing going on on the front. 26th is the San Antonio Spurs. Now, I know the Fiesta design is loved by many fans, and I like it myself, but I feel like the Spurs wordmark on the front doesn't go with the rest of the uniform. It just feels out of place. The colors are nice, and I would have liked it a lot more if they made the script actually fit with the uniform. The Celtics come in at 25th. Now, I will cut them some slack. They're a very traditional team that hardly changes uniforms, but I feel like this is just so simple and very similar to what they already wear, and for that reason, it's very low on this list. 24th is the Utah Jazz, and I'm marking them low because they used the same uniform as last year, and I don't really like this one anyway, so it gets low. I honestly think the Pacers one is pretty hideous, and that's why it comes in at 23rd. The front is just way too in your face, and I mean, I feel like all Pacers jerseys in the last decade have looked kind of similar, and this one isn't much different. 22nd is the Denver Nuggets. The rainbow does not fit with their color scheme, and the Denver font just looks too cartoonish, and I can't really take it seriously. Last season, the Phoenix Suns sported the Valley uniforms in their trip to the NBA Finals, and I actually don't hate them, but I think the fact that they didn't add something new marks them down and for that reason they're pretty low at 21. I'll never really understand the Raptors obsession with black and gold. It was never in their original color scheme and it doesn't really make sense to me. Not to mention that their city edition uniforms in the past couple years have all kind of been the same structure with the black and gold. So that marks them at 20. Coming in at 19th is the Philadelphia 76ers. In this uniform, the Sixers paid homage to their old arena, but I just don't really like it overall. The font doesn't really catch my eye too much, and it's pretty boring. 18th is the Orlando Magic. The Magic had a very similar uniform to this, just a different script a couple years ago. Um, so it's not much different than that. I mean, I like it all right, but it's something very average for me. 17th is the Charlotte Hornets. Now, I respect the fact that the Hornets went big on this one. It's definitely a very bold jersey. But me personally, I don't really like gradient uniforms, but I get the intent with this. It's pretty cool, but it's just something that's kind of too loud. 16th is the Pistons. Now, I actually don't hate this, but I feel like they could have done a lot more than this. It's a little bit underwhelming. The front really just says Detroit, and I like the shorts but they could have made the front a lot more eye-catching with a logo or cooler font. We have reached 15th, which means the rest of the jerseys are jerseys that are above average. So with 15th is the Houston Rockets. Yeah, like I said, it's definitely above average. I like the pinstripes and it pays homage to kind of the Yao Ming era, but I don't know. I just find the front to be a little boring. It would have been cool if they added the original logo they had with this uniform, um, but it's all right. It's at 15. At 14th is the Sacramento Kings. Now, I'm a big proponent of the Kings uniforms. I love the purple and black, but I think how many years are they going to put Sacktown on their City Edition uniforms? That's something I think they could consider changing to make it a little bit better. The Nets kind of have a cool New Jersey Nets throwback, and although it's subtle, I think it gets the job done. That's why it's at 13th. I think it's a little bit simple, which is maybe why it's ranked at this position, but I think it's cool. And I've always admired the New Jersey Nets with Jason Kidd. So it's pretty cool. At number 12 is the Memphis Grizzlies. I really like that logo on the shorts. It kind of, you know, throws back to the Vancouver Grizzly days. I also like the Memphis script across the front and I, I just like it overall. It's pretty good. At number 11 is the Chicago Bulls. The Bulls are obviously a team with a lot of history, but not too many uniforms over the years. I like how they paid homage to the Jordan era, but I think the front could use a little bit more of graphic design, maybe a logo or something that popped out, but overall pretty nice. We have reached the top 10 and at number 10 is the New York Knicks. The script and number pop out very nicely on the black design. I also like the pattern they have on the sides. It just looks very good and I think it'll look nice on the court. At number nine is the Dallas Mavericks. I really like the green on the sides and that script looks really cool with the cowboy hat behind Dallas. It looks really nice and I think the simple design get the job done 
and uh, yeah, that's why it's at number nine. At number eight is the Portland Trailblazers. I like the Rip City font, and it definitely mixes eras nicely. I think it's a cool jersey, and you really can't do much with red and black, but they made use of it well, so yeah. Ah uh, yes, we finally reached my favorite team, the Warriors. Now, I put the Warriors at seven because I think this uniform is very sleek. I like the black design, and I also like the 75th anniversary patch on the shorts. Um, and I think it gets the job done well. The only thing I would like to see better is maybe if they actually had a tribute to Oakland like they did last year. I mean, those were great uniforms, but no, otherwise I think it's pretty good and it's at number seven. At six is the Los Angeles Lakers. The Lakers are obviously one of the most historic franchises in the NBA. And I like how they mixed their history between Minneapolis and Los Angeles. Obviously they wore light blue in Minneapolis and purple started in LA. I really like it. I like the design and I think, you know, blue and purple isn't a color combination you really expect to look cool, but it looks very nice. Coming in at number five is the Washington Wizards. Now the Wizards used to be called the Washington Bullets and this is kind of a tribute jersey to that. I really like the throwback. I love the striping and the blue really catches my eye right away. The fourth best city edition is the Cleveland Cavaliers. I think this one is pretty underrated. I haven't heard this one getting too much praise, but I can't really explain it, but I really love this jersey. The logo in the center of the Cavalier is really cool. Um, the red is bright and vibrant and the number is cool as well. And I like the shorts. So yeah, number four. I think this might be one of the best T-Wolves jerseys of all time. And that's why this one is at number three. I love the throwback to the early 2000s when they had Kevin Garnett. The blue is bright and the green accents are great. It's just such a nice looking jersey and I love that cool Halloween looking font. So yeah, number three. Number two is the Los Angeles Clippers. I really like how they paid tribute to their time playing in Buffalo and San Diego. Powder blue is a great look for them and the orange looks great. Once again, a tribute to San Diego uh, when they played there and it's just a nice looking jersey in general. The best city edition uniform at number one is the Atlanta Hawks. They went very bold with this one and I think the yellow pops out nicely with the red. I think it, you know, definitely pays homage to their earlier days. The Hawk logo is just very cool and the Atlanta script, I like that font a lot. Uh, the shorts look nice too with the black accents and I think it's gonna look very nice on the court. This is just a great design choice and I know they went bold and it was a risk with the yellow being very bright but I like it a lot and it definitely accomplishes what the City Edition uniforms are supposed to embody. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching.